All right, so here's an example of the classwork for today. This one says, consider the situation. A pendulum bob attached by a string to a pivot point is swinging back and forth. Of the forces listed, identify which ones act on the pendulum bob. So think of, uh, this would be like our uh, plumb bob, right? Except plumb it's, bob? Yeah, plumb bob, except it's swinging what back. What does plumb bob mean? Something that hangs straight down. You got that? All right. Has to be. So, something swinging back and forth. Think about that. It's going to be on a string. So, tension, uh, gravity. It's not on a surface, so no normal. It's not on a surface, so no friction. It's not being pushed, so no applied. And it's moving through the air, so air resistance. And then you check your answer. And there we go. And then you want to draw that Daddy, and also list it. All right, so that would look something like this. We've got air, hold on dude, gravity and tension. And then here would be my object, it'd be hanging, so here's my box, right? It's hanging on a string, so tension is gonna be up, gravity is gonna be down. Those are gonna be equal and opposite because it's not flying up and not falling down. And then you choose a way that it's moving. You could say it's either swinging to the left or swinging to the right. So let's say it's swinging to the right. Daddy, look right? At that would mean that the air resistance is to the left. Of course, this is going to change depending on which way it's swinging. But that's the general idea. All right, you're going to do these for each one. Uh, you'll have five for apprentice, five for master. Flip it over, ten for wizard. And then uh, do the homework. And that's it. Have a good day, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.